Oh, what's up everybody? So I uh, hope you enjoyed the 3D print. Uh, that was 13 hours or right at it. Um, I actually stopped it a little early because I had to go to work and I wanted to show some people that work how freaking awesome this was. So I, I stopped it a couple layers early, but that's okay. And uh, this is basically what it looks like. I uh, spent about 10, hour, or 10 minutes kind of just scraping the edges and uh, cleaning off that inside a little bit. And uh, man, it's slick. It, uh, it turned out really, really nicely. Um, I did drill some holes in the top here. And that's for my uh, tube that I'm going to be putting on here. I also uh, welded a flange on the top of my hopper. Um, I didn't tell you this in the other video, but basically from this piece forward it's all stainless steel, including the hopper. So, uh, just recycled stainless. This is actually the back of a, a industrial keyboard. These welds look terrible. And that's because I had a really hard time welding it upside down like I was trying to do. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put this together. And then I have a piece of uh, polycarbonate tube. I believe it's polycarbonate. And I've done pre-drilled some holes. But I didn't drill them all the way through. Probably not going to focus well right there on the tip. See, it's not, it's not all the way through. I just drilled them so that they're kind of like a set. And then uh, I drilled these holes so that they're all the way through and then I'll be able to thread one of these little screws right here that I have taken off, taken off something else. I keep all my screws by the way. All the bolts and stuff come out of some higher end quality junk that I found. So um, yeah that tube there in case you're curious that's a six inch tube and it actually is for a uh, light like this. Um, obviously I need to get a new light bulb that one. You like that light bulb? Isn't that nice? Yeah, this is high quality stuff right there. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, yeah, just for fun. It's still burning, so we'll let her eat. Uh, anyway, that light's actually for that, uh, or that cover. That's actually a cover. It's a waterproof housing for a light. We replaced it at work, and uh, of course I grabbed, uh, grabbed the tube. Instead of letting them throw it away, I grabbed the light too and just uh, cleaned it out. Still worked. Not 100% sure why they replaced it. So we'll do some time lapse. There we go. Alrighty, I'm just going to hand tighten those, but uh, you kind of see what it looks like here. That's a 3 inch opening. Actually, it's slightly less than 3 inch opening. And it drops down into the uh, into that bigger open area. Hoping that some of the open area down here kind of relieves some of the pressure that's going to be on top of here. So, let's put the tube on. There you go. Now, uh, yeah, it's a little overkill, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm probably going to be cutting this down to about two foot. Maybe even like a foot and a half. That's probably a good distance right there. Probably whack it off right there, but uh, you get the idea. And uh, this is video number two in this series. We'll see if I can keep up with them. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the time lapse, and I, uh, I'm super stoked at how nice that turned out. That actually turned out very, very well. And uh, fits right on there. Designed to fit right on there, because I drew it up in Google SketchUp in about an hour. Took me a little longer than I expected, but uh, you get the idea. Alright, we're pretty much ready for some pellets. And uh, like I said, I'll break this down in another video. 
That bird really likes me, doesn't it? Alright. Peace and love. See ya. Yes, can I help you? Bye-bye! Peace out, guys.